have a wonderful, wonderful guest right here. Who doesn't joke with his time? Let me tell you, time is everything. They say time is money, but this guy, time is not just money. Time is meeting with the people. Can I introduce you to a very wonderful watchmaker? Please introduce yourself, sir. Hi, I'm Anthony, uh, Caveman Watches. Anthony Mensa Jamefe. I'm glad to be on here. Welcome, nice to have you here. Thank you. Um, I am so excited to know that Ghana has this much talent. I was hearing you talk at the back and I felt like, no, I need to talk to you. Mm. I need to be able to make sure I communicate with you. Tell me, what does Caveman do? And tell me about, from the beginning, how, as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. building a business from scratch? Oh, building a business from scratch. <laughs> it's not an easy task and it was not supposed to be easy to start with. Yeah. You know, so Caveman Watches is uh, Ghana's first watchmaking company. Um, we started by selling other people's brands and then we decided to, instead of always importing and selling other brands, I mean, why not start our own brand? Mm. Because I had been a watch repairer for some time. Okay. So breaking watches down, knowing how they work, like if I know how these watches work and how they are made, how do I take the next step to, to make one? So we nice. have to start from somewhere. And uh, the brand is just one year old, but I, I keep saying that we are on the right path. The journey yeah. is very long, but we are on the right path. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, talking about watches, mm -hmm. you see, we have different, different types of brands, and we believe in them because we feel they are authentic, we feel they are solid. How can you, can you actually say that your watches are solid or authentic? Yeah, okay, great. Regarding that, you see, selling watches for so many years, repairing watches, it gave me the experience to be able to find the faults and the mistakes in other watch brands, okay? Great. So I take these loopholes that the other watch brands have before mm -hmm. I designed my watches. Nice. So I know the problems that come with the, this brand, that brand, mm -hmm. this brand, that brand, and I try to solve the problems in my model. Mm. So I am very confident about the quality of the caveman watches. We're still at the beginning, we keep improving on the quality. Okay, would you say that um, being an entrepreneur mm -hmm. is for everybody? Like everybody can be an entrepreneur or it is, should be an entrepreneurial minded person? Um, I think it is not for everybody, okay? It's mm -hmm. not for everybody. We're all born different, different talents and you know, uh, it's a problem when there's a system trying to put everybody under one umbrella. Mm. So I think people should identify themselves. It's very important. You identify yourself and be true to what you find. Yeah. Somebody um, may be very successful going up a corporate ladder, you know, bit by bit. And for some people, they can't fit in there. You know, so trying yeah. to fit into where you don't belong would be a problem. So yeah, identify definitely. yourself and stay true to it. Okay, you know? I saw a couple of pictures of um, you giving uh, your watches to Dubai, um, Don Jazzy and then Akon. How, how did you meet them? Because these are guys, some people like us, we want to meet them. Yeah. How did you meet them? Okay, so with, uh, with Akon, I would always give thanks to Bolare. Oh. Yeah. Stop there are people there are people in the industry who have really helped us mm. you know they keep saying that Ghanaians don't support their own i i would like to disagree with that to some extent mm. you know uh the whole pull him down thing i think it's everywhere yeah. maybe it's in africa a lot more but there are Ghanaians here who have really supported and uh, pulled strings for us to you know push things out there so We've been helped by a lot of uh, the big guys out there. Bolare, Denta. I can't mention everybody, yeah. but I'm very grateful to all these guys. Okay. I'm a huge fan of watches. I yeah. love watches. Um, what do you think that if you're looking for a nice watch, mm -hmm. you know, we all have our preferences mm -hmm. um, in terms of color, in terms of shape, size, and all that. Uh, how would you advise somebody to go in for a particular watch, let's say any of your brands, mm -hmm. how would you advise somebody to go in for a particular type of watch that suits you? How would you do that? I think the purpose, the purpose of the watch is the first thing. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a watch to, you know, to party with, you know, mm -hmm. to draw attention, the flashy yeah. stuff, 
then you would know what you have to get. If you're looking for a watch for the corporate setting, or you want a diver watch, you mm. go in swimming, you want a watch that you can, you know, dive yeah. with, uh, casual. It depends on the purpose of the watch. Okay. But I'd always tell people that you should have that, uh, that main occasion watch, you know. You should have your everyday watches and have your main occasion watch. A watch that, you know, for the main programs, you know, you're going to sign a deal, sell a contract, you have that watch. Keep it somewhere very safe. Wait once in a while. And then you have your everyday watches. You have watches for different occasions. You okay, know. thank you. Let's watch this playback. We'll be back right now. Okay, welcome back. Um, I am inspired by this because when I see this, it's not the usual thing. Mm -hmm. Can I ask, who did you make this for? Um, we make the wall clocks, yeah. you mean, for hotels, um, companies, their lobbies, their receptions, um, yeah. restaurants. They are proper polished uh, woods, right? Yeah, yeah, very well treated wow. wood. So we take dead log. Mm -hmm. You know, when people have dead log in their house, they call me to come fetch them and we take the logs and we, we treat them properly and then embed clock movements into them. And then, you know, the whole purpose of the brand, the caveman theme mm. of the brand, mm. to have things being naturally made. So we maintain the shape, nature's shape of the wood. We don't mm. alter the shape, nice. you know, so we just try to keep the to give some, part of yeah, it. some class to nature's work. Before I ask your last, your last message, yeah. um, you see, like I said, we, we have a lot of brands, foreign brands mm -hmm. out there, and there's this notion that when it's foreign, it's better than our local stuff. How do you bridge that gap to bring out the local brands mm -hmm. in front of the foreign brands? How do we do that? How what do we I break have, that thing? Yeah, yeah, what I have observed, eh, mostly with uh, our local manufacturers, most people like to cut corners a lot when it comes to quality of their product, okay? okay? okay. Yeah, um, for example, when I'm making part of my leather straps, okay, mm -hmm. I, Im I import this glue called leather cement, mm. which is quite expensive to import. Just a little can of it is quite expensive. And uh, that is what is meant for, for that, for that job. But then you find Ghanaians who will be like, Oh, Charlie, Shoemaker Glue can do the same thing. Ah, why are yeah. you importing? Do you understand? So we like to cut corners, maybe just to save cost and, you know, make more profit. I don't know, but I believe in using the right tools, even if it's to require you spending more money, mm, yeah. which some people don't like to do. So we, we mostly manufacture things that are not perfect to global standard. But Ghanaians, some Ghanaians like mediocre stuff a lot, so they still mm. accept it. So the locals will accept it, but it cannot cross that boundary into the global market because where perfection is a thing, they would scrutinize your product. That has been a reason why we've not been able to break the local boundary most of the times. Okay. You know? So when I compare two products, I see more perfection, the detail, the finishing in the foreign brands compared to ours. Because our guys like to cut corners. Yeah. We should really work on that. We will do. Um, your last message to your youth, those who want to be um, entrepreneurs, those who want to go into businesses, those who have handiworks, those mm -hmm. who want to do things, what do you have to tell them? Yeah, um, one very big problem I have realized is uh, when it comes to the problem of unemployment, mm. we have defined jobs in a wrong manner, okay? Growing up, you hear your parents telling you, Oh, do this and become a doctor. Don't become like that mechanic. Don't become like the carpenter. That's where we brainwashed Africans from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So thinking that some particular jobs don't define success, okay? Then everybody keeps rushing into this choked sector. Yeah. And then yeah. that's where the problem of unemployment comes. Yeah. 
what happens to white collar um, jobs? Yeah, right? yeah. I believe that people should find what they are good at. Mm. It may not be white collar, yeah. but if you are very good at skipping rope, mm -hmm. okay, I believe that if you intensify and know how to monetize that craft and your talent, you will be fine. If you become the best rope skipper in the world, you will be successful. Wow. So we should find what we are good at and then try to uh, industrialize it. You don't have to, you know, f try to fit somewhere Definitely. you don't belong. Yeah. yeah. So know yourself, know what you're good at, and don't be afraid. People may not accept it because it might be new to them. Your parents would want you to become a doctor or mm. a lawyer and all that. But be very firm, know what you're good at, and then go all out for it. Okay, thank you so much, Anthony. Thank you so much. The CEO of caveman watches um i just want to say that me i am inspired Thank and you. i work hard towards my end yeah and i think as musicians if we have your product in our music video we we'll sell Thank you so much for 20, coming. 2020. Okay. That is one of the things that we want to really embark on. Wow. To that's nice. Invite the musicians to, you know, come into partnerships and contracts with us to feature nice. the watches and music videos. So you should follow us on social media, send us a message, we'll get back to you and then let's let, let's take you from there. Wonderful. Thank you so yeah. much.